I used to be a poor learner. It wasn't because I was lazy or unmotivated. I was a poor learner because I didn't know how to learn effectively. I thought I was learning when I wrote out the information I was trying to learn over and over. I thought I was learning when I memorised facts and flashcards the night before the test. I thought I was learning when I stayed up half the night studying for the exam. But I was not learning. I was getting by. And despite good grades, I didn't retain much. Now, after all these years, I have learned how to learn. Research shows that sleep and exercise are important for creativity and learning. Now, instead of staying up half the night studying, I get plenty of rest, I study for about 25 minutes, I take a break, I walk around or do jumping jacks by my desk. Although rest is important to learning, so is being focused. I turn off my email and other distractions while I'm trying to learn. Research shows that a distracted mind is not actually focused and multitasking is a fallacy. Who knew? I used to highlight areas I wanted to remember. Now I know that if I highlight more than a sentence for each paragraph, I'm just kidding myself. I should only highlight the most important concepts from the text. Highlighting doesn't help me learn. Recalling the important concepts and key ideas helps me learn. Speaking of recall, instead of just passively reading the material I am trying to learn, I recall or teach myself what I have just read out loud. Or I write it down as if I'm explaining it to someone else, like what I'm doing here. If I can explain the material to others or to myself, I'm on the way to learning the material. I learned that cramming doesn't work. I now know to start early and practice for several days days, just like an athlete building muscles. Those muscles didn't appear the day before the competition. Research shows that repetition hardwires our brains and helps us to remember. But to take hold in my brain, I must spread out my learning over several days. Our brains can only take in so much at one time, especially mine. I can't expect to learn something new by trying to grasp everything all at once. The path to learning a new skill or subject happens little by little. Learning requires me to chunk information. A chunk is an amount of information pieced together through meaning or use. So if I want to learn how to become a chef, I need to know how to do many things. Slicing and dicing vegetables is one of them. Slicing and dicing vegetables is one of them. Once I have mastered slicing and dicing, I have learned a chunk requirement to becoming a chef. Chunking the information is great for bits and pieces, but to be able to bring all the chunks together, research shows I will learn better if I try more than one technique in order to truly understand the information. This is called interleaving. For example, if I wanted to learn a specific style of painting, I may read books by experts, travel to the museum, watch videos and take a class. Learning isn't just for the rising stars. Learning is for everyone. And now that I have learned to learn, learning is for me.